Okay, so after all of that, you should have this nice big tangled mess of wires, but what you should ultimately have is your Sele connected to the breadboard, connected to the Deddy Prog, connected to the chip clip or whatever spy flash chip you're connected to. So the important thing here is that if you tried to use the convention from previously in the class, where you made this this uh, connector one from Sele, connector two, connector three, skip connector four and connect it to ground. That's important. Make sure you're connected to the proper ground that runs underneath these connectors. And then connector five to five, six to six, seven to seven. Then if you've only got two of these connected, then you're going to have run out of things when you want to connect to pin eight, which is the power. So you can resolve that however you want. You could plug in another thing and connect eight to eight. I chose to just reuse the zero that I wasn't using before, so I've got zero to eight. But again, you can do whatever you want here. Then of course, after getting all of this connected, you want to make sure that your Deddy Prog is still able to read the known good spy flash chip. And as long as it is, then you've got all your electrical connections good. And so then we can use the Sele to watch and monitor the spy flash traffic as the Deddy Prog is actually attempting to identify the chip before it starts reading it.